Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be once again creating gears. However, this time around, we're going to be using a plugin called FM Gears. To acquire this plugin, let's go to Utilities, Add ins, Fusion 360 App Store, and in the search bar, type in FM, and you'll see FM Gears come up. Select FM Gears and download it. Once it's downloaded and installed, Let's verify that it's actually indeed installed. Let's go back to add-ins, scripts and add-ins, select the add-ins tab and you should see FM gears. And more than likely you're gonna see a green run tab, click run. And once that happens, you go over to solid, create and FM gears should pop up. Let's go to create FM gears. And this is the menu that's gonna come up. Now I'm not gonna take a deep dive into every single aspect of creating gears. Obviously, if you're gonna be creating gears, you need to make sure that you select your own tolerances for the things that you're gonna be using. The one thing I will point out is this. If you're gonna be using metric, the gear teeth is gonna be determined by your module. And if you're gonna be using English, it's gonna be determined by dimensional pitch. Under metric for module, the larger the number, the larger the gear teeth. Under English for dimensional pitch, the larger the number, the smaller the gear teeth. Just keep in mind also that these numbers should not change if you're trying to sync gears together. If you change this, your gear size is gonna be different and the gears will not line up. For this project, we're gonna be using metric. Let's just go ahead and select the number of teeth to be 16. I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. We're gonna change the gear teeth to be 32. Keeping the modules the same. And I know from this, we're gonna basically calculate the center distance between the two. I know the diameter here for the pitch diameter is gonna be 20.32. I know this pitch diameter is 40.64. So I'm gonna add these two together, divide it by two and add a little bit more clearance. It comes out to be 60.96 divided by two is gonna be 30.48. And to do that, I'm gonna select a sketch and put it on his face. You don't necessarily have to do this. This is just an example. So I'm going to create a line and make it 30.48. Actually, I said 30.51. I'm going to create two center diameter circles in between because this is what these gears are going to be rotating on. I know the hole in the center is going to be eight millimeters. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller, make it 70.96, 7.96. I'm going to do the same here. So let's go ahead and create an extrusion for both of these circles. Let's make it symmetric and just give it some numbers, nothing too crazy. We want it to be new bodies. Let's go ahead and use the joint command. Select that center point, select that point there. And the motion is going to be revolute. Let's do the same for this gear here. Select joint. Make sure we rotate to the center. Now that we have this set up, let's select a symbol, motion link, because I want to basically link these two joints together. I'm going to select the joints to link. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. Revolute joint one, I wanted to spin twice as fast. So I could do this. I could put a two here and a one here. And then reverse it. I know it needs to be twice as fast. So I'll just simply put in 32 and 16. I find that the easiest way to do this is basically put in a number of gears for the opposite. 
you want to know more about gears and gear terminology, there's a link to a PDF document down in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.